Hey you guys, God bless all of you. Thanks for watching Mike Reed Outdoors. I really do appreciate you watching my videos. Guys, in this video today, I'm going to talk to you about bush pots and how to choose a good one and actually, guys, how to make your own bush pot if you don't like what's on the market. Now, I checked out lots and lots of bush pots online, guys. They even down went and looked at some of them. They're quite fairly expensive. But they are good bush pots, and if you have a good bush pot, I'm not I'm not here, guys, to knock your bush pot because everybody's got their own personal preferences on what they like. <coughs> but I decided that I would make my own, guys, for under ten dollars. I picked this pot, this two quart pot up right here, guys, at Wally World. I'll give him a plug for eight bucks. I used a piece of snaring cable for the handle and uh, made me a nice two quart bush pot now guys bush pots that are big are not they're not backpackers bush pots so you see I got my backpack right here and I can slide that little two quart slim pot down inside my backpack and carry it wherever I want to go and uh, I decided to do that and, and of course a bush pot guys it's got a bale on it is just much more easy <coughs> excuse me you guys easy to set up when you're cooking you can, you know, rig up a, and instead of having to find a place on the ground to set it, you can do it that way. So I'm going to make some potato soup here this afternoon while I'm outdoors here, you guys. A bad spot in that potato right off the bat. But that's what I'm doing. I'm making a, making some potato soup. And I wanted you guys to see this bush pot. Like I say before, this was $8, <coughs> this particular pot. It's stainless steel, <coughs> and it's not cheap stainless steel, you guys. Good Lord, them taters ain't no good. I've had them in the refrigerator too long. <laughs> but like I say, guys, there's lots of good push pots out there. Uh, Dave Canterbury has a really good line of, of uh, outdoor gear, uh, bush gear, and I've seen some of it. Uh, I will say it's kind of pricey for me. So, you know, if you can afford one of those uh, bush pots, guys, they're good bush pots. Ain't got nothing against Dave's bush pots. But, you know, us poor folk, we can come up with a solution to cook outdoors. Good way to, guys, carry your food. You can just, like, fill that thing full of the some of the uh, dry food that you're going to use, what, like... Uh, uh, you know noodles or uh, jerky or whatever else and have that in your backpack and that that is a really easy backpackable pot looks like it's gonna come to a boil there pretty quick too that's just one way of doing it you guys the like I say, the stuff that's on the market is fairly expensive stuff. You can pay anywhere from, Lord, $35, guys, to over $100 for a bush pot to take out in the field. Now, of course, this one doesn't have a handle on the side of it. Yeah, it smoke there, guys. The wind changed on me. It doesn't have a handle on the side of it. And uh, that really, to me, is not a disadvantage. It is it, it is, is good to have. You see them, it's got that fold-out pot because i got one of those little ones in there that you can drink out of. But as far as just cooking, this little two-quart pot right here, guys, is all you need. I like it slim and tall because you can put some water in it and bring it to a boil. It doesn't have a lid. And when it comes to a boil, it's not going to... You can watch it. It ain't going to boil out over the pot. Boy, that stuff's a dancing away in there, you guys. You can hear her boiling. That's what I like to see. There, guys, right there's a good way to hook your your bush pot up outdoors without having to make forked sticks or anything. If you can find you an old stump, I'm right on the side of a mountain here, by the way. I'm not nowhere's near the highway, guys. I'm a long. I go out into the woods a long ways when I hike. That's why I like this little pot to be portable. 
and uh, it's more efficient that way. I can carry it without having to have a huge backpack to poke all that stuff down in because some of these pots guys are, you know, they're, they're pretty good sized pots and made more for uh, just driving around camping than they are uh, being out here in the door, outdoors and uh, doing your thing like I'm doing right here. See that piece of snaring cable? Guys, and I do have some stainless steel snare cable and that's what that is right there. So that's not gonna rust along with that stainless steel pot. Ooh, guys, the best part about cooking outdoors is getting to eat some of them taters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, guys, very good. Very good. Delicious. Well, guys, that's it. Take a look at that bush pot right there. Simple to make. All you got to do is drill two holes in it, put you a piece of cable on it, and you got a nice, versatile bush pot. Thanks for watching my videos. God bless you, and have yourself a great day.